Any witnesses? No, they saw him dead, but Croucher gathered fast once he did. Including the Attorney General's niece. She hasn't stopped sobbing since. Let's process the scene quickly, get the body out of here. Yeah, get an idea on it yet? No. But I'll tell you what, that is one fine Santa suit. Plush pile, real leather uppers. I wish mine was that nice. The beard appears to be real. Hey, Jane, could I trouble you for a professional opinion? <clears throat> no. No what? This isn't the actual Santa Claus. Oh, really? Some say he doesn't exist, period. That is a 19th century marketing gimmick. I venture no opinion on that, but this definitely isn't him. This is an imposter. And how can you tell? Santa would smell like reindeer and chimneys. This man smells like cheap whiskey. Uh, excuse me, could you uh, reach inside that outside pocket there? and put, Yeah, just there near the candy canes. What is that? Christmas card. My life is a lie, forgive me? Well, it's not a traditional Christmas greeting, but it has punch and concision. Very uh, thoughtful of him to put it in a plastic baggie for us. What's this out? It's a straight-up suicide. Possibly. But you don't think so. Here is a man that spends his time making kids happy, putting a little magic in their life, giving them hope. Yeah? Would a man like that end his life making such a bloody spectacle of himself in character in a public place where children are bound to see him and spoil their Christmases forever? I doubt it. This was murder. Okay, you may have a point, but you know what? Let's keep an open mind on this. Murder. Movie. Happy holidays. Oh. Wow. Oh, this is a man who knew how to sustain a moment. I can't believe people buy this crap. I sense a Christmas speech coming on. No, I just think people can celebrate a holy day without lying to children about a magical fat guy with a sack full of toys. So you took the whole Santa revelation badly, huh? Crushed my heart like a cigarette. That explains why he's still looking for magic in your life. Okay, so Jack Wilder drives Ripple home. Maybe Ripple passes out. Wilder can't revive him, so he stages a suicide rather than risk losing it all. There's only one problem. The evidence is circumstantial. All of it. I don't even think we have enough for a search warrant. But what kind of character witness do you think Layla would make in court? She does feel loyalty for Wilder. I checked her employment history. She left a $70,000 job at Sacramento General two months ago to work for him. On the other hand, both her parents were alcoholic. I think that's where her real sympathy lies. Parents were alcoholic? Her mom died in a car crash. She was drunk. Cirrhosis of the liver took her dad, also alcohol-related. Chance has thrust away a very sordid and vexing problem. We'd have no fear. We don't. I do. What's your plan? Part of the body that coroners rarely inspect for needle marks. Inside the navel. Oh, oh, the uh, cat's in the bag and the bag's almost in the river. If I end your suffering now, Jack will be blamed for both deaths. And let's face it, Jack needs to be stopped. He's a little crazy. I'm sorry, we didn't mean to cut it this close. This place is a maze. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Did you take me drunk? <laughs> 